don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know, but it's like... Mmm. It's, it's not about honor, it's about like, wanting to like, learn the game, you know what I mean? Like... Like, I want to learn like, it's mechanics, it's like... Stealth is part of the game, but it's also like, I don't feel like... I don't feel like cheesing the bosses is teaching me anything. I think it's just like, gonna be like. It's gonna be doing me like some. Like. Mm, it's not gonna do me good, like, in the long run, I don't think. But. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm just that bad at it that it's like, that's how I'm gonna have to do it. Which is super, super discouraging, but. Like, to me, like, running away until, like, enemies just, like, forget, and then coming back just to get stealth attacks feels just, like, oh, it's just so cheesing it. Like, I don't know. I mean, it literally might be my only way to do it, but, I mean, they give you the tools to do it, it's just, like... I'm just like not good enough with them to be able to actually do anything. Oh, geez, there's still a single guy here. Spacing. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he could or not. I mean, like, yeah, it's totally like using a tool that's available to me. It's just, it just feels. This guy while I wait. Like the thing is, like even earlier, like I knew that this was like an, a viable option. Oh, there we go. So there is a way it does prevent you from like cheesing him. Oh right. So he does actually heal at least one thing. Okay, well that like makes it a little bit more like of an option. Because it's not just gonna be like, you know. There's a reward for doing it at least once, but like it's not gonna be like game breaking where I'm just gonna like constantly do it. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, 
tiny tree. And there it is. He's dead. Okay, I'm refined Saki. Four prayer beads, so I get some more health. Oh, he's done. My concern was that it was going to be like, sort of just like, lure him out, get the backstab, lure him out, get the backstab. Mm, maybe. I still, I still feel like it's kind of just cheesing it, but it's like, I mean, like in this instance, like it was kind of just like how it was going to shake out. I think. Oh well, not, not, not a huge deal. I mean, it's one of those things. I guess what it is is. I don't want to. I don't want to put myself in a situation where I've spent the whole game cheesing it so hard that when I actually do have to fight, I don't know how to do it because I've ended up doing that before in games where it's like I wasn't playing it right, and then realizing, like realizing it, uh, really, really, really hurt. <laughs> He's done. Another a shrine. Get some items. Person, son of Al. から次へと止めどの止めどの若様若様がお屋敷の奥に<笑> Hmm. I mean, technically, we haven't even really encountered a real boss yet, so... Okay, so... Enhanced physical attributes... First prayer necklace... Oh, wow, that's actually quite a boost. Alright. Actually acquire skills, so... Um, I think we should probably take this one, because it seems like just, like, in the long run, it's going to be beneficial for when we're exploring areas. Like, the thing is, is if it wasn't for the, like, NPC guy, I don't think I would have been able to win that fight. Not without, like, way more, like, practice figuring it out. But, like, doing a, like, stealth attack and then relying on him to, like, cover me while I <laughs> lit him on fire, like, it definitely worked. So, I mean, like, there's, like, a, there's at least that. And I, so here's the thing, like, I feel a little bit less bad about doing that now that I know that you can't, like, stealth, like, kill both health bars. Like, I think that would have been, like... I feel like I could potentially cheese a lot of mid-bosses that way, if that was going to be viable. But knowing that it's not so viable, I feel a little bit less bad about taking one health bar off him that way. Right? Collision technique. Snap seed. Oh. Okay, so he straight up just gave me a snap seed. If illusions occur, it's because someone created it. Oh, I only got one snap seed.
Must be a key or something we get. Maybe maybe via the other route. Jesus, poor guy's like he's been having a rough run, because he was the same guy we talked to before, and he was dying then too. So... I really don't know. I don't know which of these two I like more. Like, I kinda like this one for closing the gap, but this one's good for, like... I mean, I don't know if it's really that good at, like, hitting people around you, but... I mean, like, the way it talks, it feels like it's kind of... It feels like that's what it's supposed to be for, but... Hmm. I don't know. I I guess like right now I need to like take it down a notch, like do what I can. I really didn't have to walk back, but oh well, whatever. Hmm. Okay, let's like travel, and I guess like the only other really, s the only other spot we're really looking at is the guy with the spear. At that point, I'm not really sure. I guess it's just like the route with the cave with the headless guy is the direction we're going. Hmm. Uh, maybe... I, I feel like that's probably viable just because... Uh, just because, like, he's kind of... Um, he tends to not notice you, even even sometimes after you've taken out a lot of his, like, guards. Like, he sometimes doesn't even notice you, so... I imagine getting a death blow on him is probably fairly easy. thing is, is like, that guy there notices me really fast. Maybe my best answer is to take care of him first, because he tends to be the one that gives me a lot of trouble anyways. So. Spear guy is just kind of chilling out here right now. I mean,
mean, the shield guys have such a, like, blatant answer that, like... I mean, I suspect that, like, stealth attack isn't quite important. Okay, you guys On the plus side, we do have more health, so, I mean, that's definitely a big plus. Trying to get over here and make my way to the other two guys. Don't actually know where I'm at, so I mean, I guess that's good. I mean, but I'm missing a guy, which is also not good. Okay, okay, I see. So he's around the one guy's around the corner, and the other guy, spear guy, is walking back. Okay, we do that. Oh, wow, you can't grab that edge at all. I'm just losing this. Not what I want to do. Is those fish down there? Hmm. If they are, they're really deep. <laughs> Wait for Spear Guy to turn his back. Like that. Oh shit, that was a jump. Yeah, like, I don't know if it's telling me that I need to do the piercing block, or piercing parry for the danger symbol there, or if I'm supposed to jump it. I feel like the danger symbol usually means you're supposed to jump it, but, hmm, I am unsure on that one. I mean, I think that, I think, I think you're probably right, Landshark, I think, like, the idea probably is to, like, stealth attack their first, like, health bar. Yeah, it mean it means you at least can't block. I do know that much, but it's also like I don't. I guess maybe the idea is that it's not like a consistent answer tied to it. But you're probably right as far as like I think probably for most of the mid bosses you're supposed to approach them and take the first bar down via stealth, and then the second bar just like fight them off that way. Like, or at least that's probably the best way I should approach it. So 
so here's the thing. I noticed that um, there's definitely a, like a fair amount of attacks in this game that like if you do try and jump them, they track really hard, uh, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, it's not so noticeable. I mean, I don't know about this guy, but it's not so. Uh, it was really noticeable with like the like easier mid boss, uh, just like the kind of. Uh, I don't want to say generic samurai mid boss, but the one we fought two of so far. Like, they have like an attack that they do, and it's definitely like their kind of don't jump attack. It's 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 weird. It's like I don't know if it's like a consistent thing that they'll do if you're jumping a lot or what, but. Done. Work our way up into this tree. Jump down here. There we go. Take out all the easy guys first. <laughs> tracking, what's tracking? Like, I guess what it is, is, like, I noticed that there's a fair amount of attacks that will, like, vertically track up and down. Like, this spear guy, for example, when he takes, like, swings at us from here, like, he could actually hit us below that, because, like, the attack will actually go up and down to, like, track. And I tried. The attempt was made. Yeah, okay, you can parry it, it's just... <laughs> okay, it's at least... we learned something. Whew. Uh, so... I was kind of wondering about that too, but I've never been in a situation where I could get to them where they didn't... they weren't, like, alert. So... I feel like I feel like you can probably eavesdrop on them, but I'm not sure like just how to do that. Hmm. Hmm. How much money do I have? Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get traction on this guy. Yep, there's that <laughs> jumping. There we go. I mean, I am slowly, like, failing upwards, which, I mean, should help, but... <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. It's it's one of those things that when you when you go in on a game, I guess it's like at least when I go in on a game, I hate to like I want to like try and figure it out. I want to like you know learn how to play it. And it's like I hate to feel like you know I went in day one on this and then like focused on just like cheesing the game as hard as I could rather than like trying to learn it. I mean I'm like like I said like I'm fine with like going for like the stealth kills I just don't want to put myself in a situation where that's like all I've relied on the whole game and I mean you know Back it up. 
Jesus Christ, I'm still alive. <laughs> Might as well drink all my gourd juice. No, and like the thing is, now that I know that like bosses will like regen their health if you try and like cheese them that way, like that makes me feel a little bit more like better about that. Like I'm not opposed to like taking off the like first bar. I just don't want to put myself in a situation where that's like all I'm doing. Like I understand, yes, it is a stealth game, but there is more to it than just being a stealth game too. I mean, like there is stuff to learn here. Hmm. There's there's like stuff to unbox. Okay. And like I think I I think I've grasped the fact that like as far as when you're fighting like little enemies goes, like that is definitely like the way that I think you have to approach this game is you have to like approach each like group of enemies with the intention of how can I like get the drop on them right away, which which I think is good. I think that's really neat. I just think that like, you know, uh, luring an enemy, like going out of like their like out of bounds and then like walking your way back in for a backstab is kind of silly, but you know. I'm okay with like figuring out like how to get those like Backstab, so. Because that's essentially what I kind of did to, like, the drunk card guy. Like, I kind of just, like, went, went out of area and came back and then backstabbed him. <laughs> Which sucks, but it's like. I wasn't gonna beat him any other way, probably, at this point, realistically. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. If that's what I have to do to get a foot of a hold in the game, I guess that's what I gotta do. Oh shit! shape here. Like they give you they give you a lot of like unique tools. See like when I'm standing down here you could actually see how like he angles like his pike downwards for attacks. It's interesting. And I think that's what prevents you from just like jumping every single attack. It's not, it's not like a huge deal, but it's definitely like... One of these tools might be good against this guy, but be damned if I know which one it is. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's like the other mid boss we fought. There's like him and one other guy that's kind of similar to him. They were definitely like the easiest ones so far. Hmm. Gosh dang. Dang, my money. My money's really taking a hit. Dang, I want to buy that other ninja tool too. I'm never gonna get to it at this rate. Hmm. I think a little bit of the problem I'm having with the spear is a lot of it looks very similar. And I think that, like, by the time I have to, like, gauge whether it's a danger attack or not, uh, and unblockable, uh, I'm already, like, too close to it to, like, react. Yeah, the, that's very true, actually. Because almost every enemy, like, I think it's because, like, everything has to have, like, every enemy has to have, essentially, their rock, paper, scissors. So, like, that's already, like, at least three different, like, moves for each enemy. I think we're gonna have to just like. Oh, that's my stomach. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to just pull this guy into the bushes. <laughs> like, I feel like that should be an option. You know what? I wonder if I was to get the back attack on this guy right away and then deal with everyone else. Open with that guy, and then we'll actually fight this guy. Oh, whoa. Whoa, jeez. Do not want. Awesome. I wait through that one. This is Axe Guy. You know what? I just had to focus on uh, parrying the spear. I had to stop thinking about like what, uh, like just doing the standard parry. See, I've been trying to do like side parries for it because I do agree with you, Land Shark. I think that like, um, I think that's. On paper, it's a good option because, like, you're essentially getting an option to select between if you do it too early, you're gonna side dash the attack, and if you do it too late, or rather, if you do it on t on the timing, you'll get the parry. But I find it really hard to do that. Um, if you get hit, happens if you get hit any point in the dodge. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe. But all I did there was I just made sure. I just did a neutral circle. And that seemed to work better for me. 
Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I feel like you're probably right, though. I think that like doing the side circle would be a better way to do it. But I think what happens is I do that, and then like my footing is in a different spot. Whereas like just keeping it like straight on seemed like he was gonna do another like straight at me. So just set it up the next one for me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. Uh... Uh, you know what? I might even take something like this. Just two seconds, the cat's decided she finally wants in my room. She, I open the door and she immediately runs away. It's like, oh, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess that's probably like the big thing that I have to realize with this is I definitely need the surprise attacks on the mid-bosses. Like, I don't think there's a way around that. Like, I think that's definitely what I have to do. And I mean, like, that one there, like, that was... I felt like that was pretty legit because, like, I just went in, got the surprise attack on the boss specifically. It wasn't like I kited all the enemies, took them all down, ran away until the boss forgot me, and then came back and got the attack. Like, I feel like that's, like, I mean, it works, but it's just kind of, like, I'd like to play more into, like, figuring out, like, the technical, like, where I should be, where I should be going, what I should be looking at doing, I guess. And, I mean, like, that, that works. Okay, what do we get going on here? New area, so that's very nice. Also, I love how, like, lush things are. Like, things are green. Um, I suspect that, like, if you're really good at this game, you're gonna, like, be parrying everything. Like, it seems like a very strong tool. Like, I, I really like the environments so far in this. They're very, like, visually, like, rich. That's done. Let's go back down here and take it with this guy. Oh, there's two guys here. Surprise! That's actually kind of cool, his, air lit, his like, arrow set everything on fire. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh my god. Okay, that's not working out for me. Oh my god. Like get up here, cause like these guys are. Ah oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! The fucking tracking on these shots. could have went a little bit smoother. <laughs> that was a little rough. Mm. I don't have a lot on me. 
Oh. Oh, that's a big guy. That's definitely another mini boss. Oh, hey. Item. Yeah, I suspect, like, early game speedruns of this. Um. I don't know. Like, early game, I guess there might be a lot of stealth, but, like, later on, I think it's gonna be a lot of just, like, going in and, like, uh. Essentially, just like mowing through the enemies, stun like reaction to what they're doing. I mean, that's like beyond I think my skill set, but like I could see just because like the tools that give you like like I said, the tools that give you are extremely good. It's just like I'm not utilizing them well. I say as I fall into the river. Is actually kind of a strong attack from one of these guys. Yeah, and like, I think that's actually a good thing. Like, I think that's pretty cool. It's just, I think that there's also like a level of, um, like, having to learn, like, kind of a lot. like it's interesting because it's like a it's a nice alternative I guess to having maybe like I I mean I have no idea how many bosses are in the game but it's like um, every mini boss is treated with like kind of a level of like care that you have to like figure it out you have to use the environment they're in you have to like look for how to get those stealth kill or stealth hits um, you have to like figure them out so like I think that's like really interesting It's kind of like, in Dark Souls and Bloodborne, it's sort of just all enemies or bosses. And this is like a sort of in-between like node between those two things, which I think is, like, it makes complete sense, like, now that I'm playing it, that this, it's like, of course this is like the way things, this is an obvious, like, direction to go with it. I wonder if I could use the bottom of the bridge. I could probably jump down there. Uh, they definitely saw me. Except that guy. That guy apparently didn't. Okay, we gotta... <laughs> Let's, like... No, there isn't really any jumping from anywhere from down here. You can't hit me down here, can ya? hit stuff. Oh, this guy is not a boss. He's not a mini boss. He's just a regular enemy. He's just strong. He didn't have a uh, second health bar. Okay, well, whatever. I took care of him. Ish. I got it. I haven't seen a fish in a while. Treasure carps. I know. Actually, I don't think you were here when I was hunting fish white. Fish, they're totally a thing. 
Okay. Contact medicine. I can't even reach that to find a different place to climb up. There we go. Alright, so let's keep moving. I wonder if this is circling around to back where we fought the drunk guy. If this is just like a different route to him. It doesn't look like the same section. Oh, hey! I recognize this guy. Where he like dies. Oh, what's he giving me? Don't die here, old man. Hidden temple key. That must be what we need to open that other door. Hmm. Don't die here, old man. Okay, so I've already found all this. I So I think this is probably just like a dead end from here. Ow, 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 okay, that's bad. Don't do that. <laughs> takes us back here. That's actually pretty dang cool. That is some good, like, pathing. Good stage design. Let's take out this guy over here first, since he kind of alerts everyone else.
know if you can even parry those. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. So that means that we have the key to go to the secret door. Rest. And we have enough to probably acquire another skill. This one, I think, has been pretty good, actually, because it's definitely saving me from having to heal, like, the smaller, like, wounds. Uh, latent skill increases damage inflicted upon, upon executing the Makiri counter. Shadow Rush. Maybe I should save up for four. Now apparently the <laughs> the healing the healing gourd's medicine isn't very tasty. Now we know. Yeah, I think I'll just save up for the four. Uh, save up for increasing our healing because that just seems like it just seems really good. Yeah. I mean, this definitely sounds like we might be, like, in boss territory here. I maybe should spend it, because it's kind of like, use it or lose it. I tried doing a visceral. <laughs> that was not right. I thought the big guy over here, this should be easier. Figure at least I could do is gain a little bit of experience. A little bit of experience, a little bit of money. I miss. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else here I can like cut through. to do that quite a few times, I think, to build up enough, like, to level up. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to spend it on something different. I think anything that's going to, like, suppress my noise even further probably is, like, worth my time. I'll spend it on that for now. Alright. Let's see what we're like looking at in here. This feels like it might be the first like boss boss.
中母上死亡女よみんなどこへ行ったんだ美子様現実か久しいなフクロウのせがれよ<笑>お嬢殿行ってくださいそなたはなすべきことをなすのですわかりましたあれ、catch you later, Silla Thanks for swinging by and hanging out I appreciate it, have a good time at like burger day tomorrow You have to like post about how kangaroo burgers are. Oh, we gotta fight this old lady. She's probably gonna blow us up. Those are cool. Wow, she she doesn't give a shit. The lower one's vitality, the slower their posture recovers. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Posture gauge color gets redder as recovery rate slows. Vitality damage techniques such as Dodge counterattack are ideal against enemies with fast posture recovery. Alright, so step dodge. Right. Alright. And into the ceiling she goes. Way slower than I was expecting. go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> me up immediately, which is a big plus. Hmm. Oh, Rod Essence, newcomer. Somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so it sounds like even if I don't... Ooh, wow, I lost half my money. That's okay, though. Money comes, money. <laughs> money comes, money goes. Let's try this again. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was that was a fucking sick suplex. Damn. Still get the rod. Rod, even if you don't resurrect. Okay, gotcha. Maybe it's faster or slower though, based on it. Like from what I've seen, um, the more one with the power dies, the more sickness known and stronger it spreads. Okay, so maybe it's maybe it's a little bit of. Um, at least from what I like gathered, the way they talked about it before, it sounded like the more you use the resurrection, the faster it spreads. But it might just be like in general. All right. Okay. Try. It's like the. <laughs> That's almost like the worst thing is like. Um, it's not the fast attacks that get you, it's the slow ones. Because, like. <laughs> you have to, like, watch and be like, oh, okay, something's happening. Never mind, there's fog. Uh, I think you leave this room, heal if you don't want to die. Yeah, I think they close you in. Because I think the. This is this is like a standard boss. Man, I'm never gonna be able to afford that extra ninja prosthetic thing that was for sale. Three thousand. Oh my god, like how? Yeah, that was that was super dumb. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. Oh my god. Jar slash. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm still alive. Dang. <laughs> I just went to shoot a shuriken. Dang. Use the homework talisman in the fight. You know what? Honestly, I've used things like that so little in these games. I don't know if it would work in a boss battle. I would assume no, but. Uh, I can't think of an instance where I've ever, like, tried to use a uh, talisman. I mean, it would just reset the battle, but I guess, like, I guess you're meaning, like, to kind of negate dying. I suspect probably not, though. I mean, I can put it on and see what happens, because it'll just, like, light up or gray out. Uh, where is it? There we go. Just of like curiosity for the sake of science. Ow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, jeez, it actually lets you exit the battle. I'm very. Su nope, never mind. <laughs> she fucking threw me out of it. Okay, it has like enough of like a startup that it's probably not viable. <laughs> Dang. 
Okay, well, we were doing some science. Ooh, knocked her out of the air. Ooh, and kick right on top of the head. Probably be a good thing to like aim for parrying, maybe. Oh, oh geez, I thought I died there actually. No, it's not an emergency escape, and I think that would probably be too like easy. They've like now that I've seen that they like restore health if you like walk, uh, you know, go outside their like range. I have a feeling that they were very conscious of like. Um, uh, I think they're very conscious of how people might try and like work around uh, work around these bosses. Oh boy, I wish I had spent that money before I lost it all. I might make sure to do that before I go to bosses next, like beforehand. not ready for that. This is super weird because it's like... she oh oh shit she actually caught me ow that's my life you know what I think that there might be something to just like ending your combos with ninja tools Give him the old double flip. Alright. I guess it's technically not a combo, so I should probably be more careful. Gone. 
I'm amazed I haven't even got one parry out of all this. Like, there's so much room here to get something. Oh, that kind of worked. Water when she's going up. Oh shit, lost her again. Oh shit, there was so much hit stun on that last one. Damn. Dang, that one was actually pretty close. I mean, that's only one health bar, but. I don't know if the health bar, like, if I... Hmm. I'm, like, thinking about it, because she does It's not like she has two, like, health bar dots, so it's like, if I get rid of that one dot, is there a second health bar? I don't think it works like that with the other ones, so... Hmm. It was pretty good. We were doing pretty good there. Oh, oh shit. It was not a great start. Oh, <laughs> that one actually just straight up missed. Was missed too. Good. Not like this. <laughs> hmm. All right. Oh my god, right out of the gate.
Oh, shit. Wow, that was pretty good. Oh shit, I'm stuck against this post. <laughs> Camera. Oh shit. <laughs> that was really weird. I was like, the camera was like pinned against the post, but I was so close to it, I couldn't tell what direction I had to like move to get away from it. It's like, dang. That's okay. Not, not a big deal, because it's not like, that's not the normal. That's just like a kind of fluke. All right. <laughs> Dang, we're almost down to no money. That sucks. Next time, we'll spend our money before a boss battle. Ooh. Hurts. That's the one we have to jump. I know. Badass nice <laughs> knife grandma. She's super cool. Ah. I don't think you get like I don't think there's any like parrying for stuff though. Like you can like get like sort of the advantage like deflect timing, but you can't seem to get anything beyond that. And maybe there's like a very specific window. Oh no, don't want that. Oh. Like that right there was the Ooh, hey, I did the right thing. Look at my money. <laughs> if we if we take his money, we just go down by one coin each time, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. And there we go. <laughs> Dead. Ow. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's like super cool. 
but here we are. <laughs> We've been command grabbed like twice in a row now, and it's like, uh, <laughs> not like this. Whoa, we got more money that time. Ow. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, she actually got me with that. I'm actually really surprised. Oh shit, sweep. Had to jump that. I could see that. She kind of has a little bit of that, uh, like, input quality. Hmm. Is this weird because I feel like they're supposed to be more of a window than I'm looking for because it's really only like a couple moves I seem to be able to get any kind of like punish off of and I'm only getting like two or three hits at a time when I do it at the same time I don't think it's like I don't think there's a lot of gain here for like trying to go for parries because I mean I haven't even had one parry that like has worked I mean like I'm trying like every time so it's like Oh, caught her as she was going up. Where is she going? Let's take a drink. actually got me. Grapple points in this room. Oh, shit. There it is. Hey, that was below half. My special jump slash goes over sweeps. I have a feeling it probably does. <laughs> yeah, you're not not wrong there. Hmm. <laughs> 
There's anything to grab onto here. Actually, that one's a good one to jump in on. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh shit, she can catch you in the air with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, what if I go to the air? Hopefully she can't command grab me there. That was a mistake. Ow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> just fucking kick me across the face. Ow. I was thinking that when she was doing her, like, air, or, like, sort of jumping from the rope to, uh, her basically just doing her command grab, I was thinking it's like, what if I jump up and, like, meet her and, like, swing? It's like, would it knock her out of it? But I think she just grabs you, <laughs> so... It's like Tau Super. Grabs you with the air. But I guess it's not technically a grab, so. Hmm. I guess this must not technically be a grab either because of it. It's make they're making up the rules as they go along. That was surprisingly effective. Ooh, see that was a good deflect. Oh, yeah, see, she'll actually just grab you out of the air. That's not good. Ooh, and I'm dead dead. Uh, that could be a thing. It probably, it probably would work because it seems like it interrupts things well. Because I noticed even with the spear guy, if I threw them when he was, like, doing his big, like, charging attack, it would just, like, bring it to a stop immediately. So that's potentially an option. Oops, I wasted my healing gourd. Hmm. Let's, like, take this off. I don't know at what point we're going to have to use that whistle, but we only have one. So I'm, like, hmm. <laughs> be wary about this. I wonder if this is, like... I bet that's, like, uh, like cold, cold bloods from Bloodborne. Just for money. I wonder if money is the souls of this game. Question mark. <laughs> we'll think about that a little bit more later. <laughs> Ooh, jeez, wow. Whoa, she really got out of there. Nope. That's one way to avoid it. Oh, jeez, oh, wow, she had a good plan for going around that post. Stick to healing behind the post.
Oh, that's a sweep. <sighs> Dang. <laughs> the Dark Souls of Capitalism. Capitalism of Dark Souls. <laughs> hmm. Fire. Oh, whoa. Let's go back to healing behind the post. Ow. Oh shit! My goodness. I thought I had that one dodged for sure. Hmm. Dang. Jeez, you have to really like chew through this fight. Like this feels like less encumbering than like the last like the mid boss fights. Dodge forward to manage to escape it. Okay. I... I don't know, but I can try it. I guess it makes sense, because she kind of has to move towards you, and if you go beyond her, I don't think she can, like, roll it back. Oof. Dang. <laughs> it was such a short little jump, it was really weird. Was almost a good idea. Yeah, I think you're right, Land Shark.
Oh my god! Actually surprised me because I got something different out of it. getting there it's just it's just kind of the way I'm doing this fight I'm just like slowly chewing my way through I mean on the plus side like I was about to say like oh, yeah uh, like I was about to say like the mid bosses hit so hard that like like with her she doesn't actually hit that hard it's just like Whoa! I can't believe that worked! Oh my god! Oh, what? Ooh. Dang. Uh, dodging forward was working, but I think I went in maybe a little bit too quick afterwards. I'm definitely getting there. Like, I feel like this is, like, I mean, this is, like, the closest I felt like on lockdown on enemy, like, a mid-boss or boss, even. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is it's only gonna buy me half a health bar, which is, like, essentially one more hit. I have to, if I'm really, really close, I'll maybe go for it, but, like, if I'm just, like, a hit off. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god, I correctly answered it. I saw that one. That one made sense when I seen it. Mmm, shit. It's like I'm dodging through, but I'm also like hooking kind of circle like strifing back in into or afterwards, so I have to be careful about that. 
Hmm. Oh boy, unseen aid. What a gift. Gifts from above. All right. Shit, <laughs> opening with the sweep. Off to a uh, rockin' start. <laughs> oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's not gonna guarantee you can't, the post isn't gonna save us from the fucking command grab. Okay. No. Oh my god, we got her. Oh my god. <laughs> or did we? Nope, we didn't. Okay. Oh shit! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Surprise! It's only the first half of the fight. <laughs> Now this fucking ghost phantoms. Hope you're ready. Wonder if you start here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Play enough Dark Souls. Play enough games from From Software to know that like <laughs> usually very rarely works like that. Wonder if this guy will just give me a new snap seed if I use my old snap seed. No, they're gonna make me fight grandma again. That's okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Bad start. This game is hard. I got some oil, that's nice. You know what? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, she doesn't give a shit. That like did nothing to her. She kicked me on the way down. But where'd she go? the previous one. Shoot. Oh well. Okay. Well, the oil ain't working for us, so we're gonna get rid of that. I could try the Fistful of Ash and see if that works. Yeah, that. <laughs> um... See, I don't know which of these tools would be more, like, useful in this fight. Bam! Eat axe, Grandma! <laughs> I lost my targeting. I don't know if you guys really caught that, but that was really weird looking. <laughs> she really auto-faced on that one. Oops, still an ash. Oh, healing pellet. Oh my god. Grandma, please. Oh, oh the sweep. I'm trying to... I'm using too many tools here, that's my problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it actually hit her out of that. That was very surprising. like it has armor on it, so that's a nice trait.
There we go. We got her. Alright, so make sure you use our snap seed this time. Let's let's use a pellet too, just to get ourselves started here. Okay. Oh, oh. It, okay, no. It, yeah, it took out some, but not all. Okay, so you can actually physically attack them, but fortunately that means we're also in... Whoop! Get yourself started. Go back, so... Attack. Ah, that's a sweet. Dang. Okay, so I think the idea is you let yourself get surrounded, then you use the snap seed. <laughs> that said, we only have one, so I'm hoping that the guy at the door gives us another one. Like, I wonder if there's, like, an instance where you can, like, like, tilt her in a way that, like, you can just, like, instantly kill her. Like, I feel like there, I feel like there's, like, a star punch to be had. No, oh, that was our only snap seed. Oh my god. Okay, bye.